In this video, Pick Wire and Cable will offer step-by-step -step instructions on how to terminate a 110339 connector onto an E50824 Ethernet cable. First, you will install the ATUM 8-2 shrink tube, strain relief boot, and ATUM 8-2 onto the cable as demonstrated on screen. Make cut A 1 inch from the cable end through the jacket cable. Next, remove the jacket. Now, remove the braids. Now, remove the foil. Now, remove the Teflon tape. Fold each pair back and trim off the center spline as short as possible. Now, make cut C at 0.38 inches from cut A through the jacket as shown on screen. You will score the 0.38 inch section of the jacket lengthwise and then only remove the jacket. Continue by aligning the wires into the desired pinout configuration and install the wires into the load bar as shown on screen. If necessary, wire ends can be cut slightly shorter, up to 0.05 inches, to facilitate easier entry into the load bar. Position the front edge of the load bar at 0.85 inches from cut A. Trim off wire ends at cut B, then flush with the end of the load bar at 0.85 inches from cut A. Bend the connector body strain relief tab down to allow wires and load bar installation. With the load bar positioned at the end of the wires, you can now install the connector body onto the wires and load bar. Then seat all wires fully into the connector until the stranded conductors of each wire are visible through the front end of the connector body. Use magnification as needed. Before crimping, you must verify that all wires are fully seated per 110339 inspection criteria. Crimp the connector using a 110288RJ45 crimp tool as displayed on screen, keeping the wires firmly seated. Next, bring up the 0.38 inch piece of shrink tube up to the back end of the RJ45 connector, making sure to cover the crimped strain relief tab and expose shield. Use a heat gun to shrink the ATUM shrink tube. Be careful to shield the RJ45 latching tab from excessive heat to prevent melting. Now slide the boot up onto the connector, making sure the latch tab is inside the boot. Then slide up the 0.75 inch piece of heat shrink to the back end of the boot and use a heat gun to shrink it, ensuring the heat is kept away from the boot or it will deform and melt. This concludes our termination instructions. Thank you for watching. For additional termination videos, please reference our website at www.pickwire.com.